Oh, that's cool. I'm changing my appearance. Alright, so how do I play? Alright, so this game I really liked the look of when I was looking at it, and it was really cheap because of the sale, so I got it. For some reason it stopped the streams that I could switch games instead of just letting me play. Um, let's try this tutorial. Anyways, yeah, I'm back, so I'm trying this. This game looked really cute when I was looking at the previews of it, and I thought it'd be fun. It kind of has the same vibes as, like, Crossy Road. Um art style wise, but it's whoa, I can do a little sprint <gasps> grab the axe oh, you just stand at it, you don't have to hit X Okay. Oh, this is cute. I love this. And you can make a rail, and there's a rail, and you can place a rail down. So let's do... Oh, I love this. I'm gonna love this game so much. So yeah, this game is on sale along with many other games that I want to get for the... PlayStation to try. And... I got it to be able to um, add a little bit more variety to the stream experience. Oh, I can't put more. So what do I need? I need more stone, but I don't have stone. How do I? It won't let me put more wood in. Oh, I just put wood over there. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Alright. I like this. It's a cute little cozy game vibe. It's a little hard to see from all the way over here. Because I'm very far from my... Um, I'm very far from my... Typical... Look on the TV. You just fill it by standing here. Cool. Yeah, and then I die. Why'd you do that to me? It let me die. That's rude. Just play me. Game mode endless. Difficulty will do easy. I don't care what seed. Let's do checkpoints. Let's do this. Alright, let's try it. I got a little bit of knowledge. Yes, puppy dog, I know. You can come up here. Look at that base. Alright. Mixie, hush your mouth. Yes, I know. Holding L2. If you want to put it to work on by using R.
I don't know, something like that. I don't care. Cute, I like it. I don't want to set the rails where the train can use them just because I don't want it to run off the screen yet. So I need to like said it was what R2 No, let's do have him do wood because I don't want him to place the things because he's placing them down wrong. He made the train go in the wrong direction from where I was putting it. Ow! The train crashed. We're gonna lose. Train crashed. We lost. Is the NPC being dumb? Local. It's so confusing. In like an easy way, but it's just... The NPC part makes it confusing. Me just being able to do what I want doesn't make it confusing, type of thing. So we'll put a little wood down here so we can have the rail go across it and then we'll start putting wood and stone into the cart because we can make Darn it, how is that the easy mode? Yikes. I guess we probably should just set the the NPC to No, I don't need the replay. I think we should just set the NPC to do the um whatchamacallit, do the uh, rails. Cause then we don't have to worry about it and it'll help keep it moving. He just was doing it in a way that didn't make sense to me. So let's do the NBC 
Let's tell the NPC to work on rails. And we can work on any bridges we might need, and on getting some extra materials going. How do I? over the dam. Put it over here. Oh, I have to show him the path with this part. We're gonna do here, to here, to here, to here, except that should give him the right path so that he'll actually take it the way it's supposed to be. And then I can just help him by some stuff so that it'll build it. I'll just cut down things while the NPC does all the work, it's fine. so that he can do more rails. Kind of cute and calming once you figure out how to actually operate it. I like it. You just get to kind of do whatever. I'm gonna take the tools over to here so I can make it a little easier for him to gather the supplies. My little NPC friend is doing all the work, it's fine. straightforward and you just gotta collect things and let the NPC figure it out in between. I like it. It's chill. It's just, I'm not freaking out because I don't know how to operate the game. We need more. Oh, we have a little checkpoint. Okay, what can I do? Let's do uh, an upgrade. What do we need? Crafting speed, stack size. We'll do this. And add it on. And then we'll do... Uh, what's the train for a short time? this one actually. I don't want this one. How do I put it back? How do I... 
I don't want this one. I want this one. Whatever. I messed up, so... It is what it is. <laughs> Let's set his path. Uh, we'll start here. Go here. Go here. Except. I'll just cut down things that he can get. You can't climb on top of dad, honey. He is a person that you can't climb on. You guys are so, you're so happy. The big old tail bumps. We got a big old talkative. <laughs> 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 I don't think you know you're not a husky, honey. <laughs> oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Fire, fire, fire. Fire on the train, fire on the train. Fire on the train, fire on the train. Oh, whoa, whoa. She's husky. She thinks she's part husky, I swear to goodness. Very talkative booga. Talkative booga. Alright, alright, alright. We gotta get more tracks, more tracks, more tracks. I get the easy job, I just get to kind of keep getting, getting items and then getting rid of fires. This is probably where the light... So, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I actually just barely got it myself. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just kind of like a... Oh, jeez. It's just kind of like a cute little, like... You go from point A to point B type of game. The premise being you just have to uh, get to each checkpoint and keep upgrading things. Um... But, I did just get it, so I really am not the most educated on it. I need to... I, I, it, the reason I bought it was because it was A on sale and B. Um, it's really cute of a art style. It kind of reminds me of like Crossy Road, in a way. And I like that. Um, so I was just like, yeah, this will work fine. And then I haven't really figured out the actual setup of this yet. How do I... Okay, I can put that down. And then I can put something there. There's so many things! It's so confusing though, because it's in the dark now and I don't know what's going on. I don't know, it definitely just like kind of seemed like a cute little cozy game I could play once in a while. And as much as I want to play Minecraft, I can't change games without it stopping stream on me, so... I'm kind of stuck with this game until I stop streaming, which won't be too too long since I do have a bunch to do today. But yeah, I got a bunch of uh, games because I saw that there was a bunch of sales going on in the PlayStation Store and I could not resist. Um, I ended up buying like Among Us and um, Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare and Slime Rancher and 
this game and um, Fishing Planet and a bunch of other games that just kind of piqued my interest. I have a whole written down list of other games I want to check out before the sale ends as well. So, just a bunch of cute little games that I like that I liked the look of. How do I get to the? Get me to the. Get me to the trees. How do I get to the trees? I can't get over there. The train's gonna run off the tracks. I need to finish setting his points as well. No. Oh. From here to here to here. And this NPC dude is just the person that's helping me out with figuring all this out, so. How do I get over there? I need to make sure I set up the rails. I need to set another... Goodness. I need to get through in time to be able to set another uh, little wood platform down right here so that we can get across the river to be able to get to the supplies. It's stressful. Okay, there we go. Now we can get back and forth across the river, so we're good. That was that was stressful. So yeah, so basically if the if the train the train continues moving really slowly like that and if it ends the track, it won't it'll be a fail basically, it'll just crash. Um, and you have to be able to get from like this point to the next checkpoint there. Uh, and to make rails you get the wood and stone, which is what I'm doing, and then you put it into the cart and it'll b build them on its own and then you place down the rails, and since I'm only one person and this game and requires a lot of attention, when you're playing on your own you get a little NPC dude that just helps you out with whatever, and so I just assign him to rail duty and set his path, and then I collect the resources and he just like, grabs resources and... Oh, I'm... And he just like, grabs resources and puts them all into the cart and makes the rails for me so I don't have to. Which is nice, it makes it a little easier and a little less stressful, except for in that case where he was stuck and couldn't get over to the materials to be able to make more rails. It's kinda cute, kinda simple. Just a little point A, point B type of game. It'd be great if I had more to talk about, but I'm really tired, so I'm kind of like intensely focusing on the game instead of talking about stuff. Nixie, would you stop? Get out of there now. Out. Of. There. Get out. You know where you're not supposed to be and you always go there. Nixie. No. Nixie. Leave it alone, Nix. Dude, you have a whole bunch of rails. Why aren't you putting them down? There you go. We made it to the checkpoint. Circles. Alright, now what can we do? Let's do an upgrade for crafting speed and size. How do I do it? This way. And then let's do a new wagon. Uh, shows you the way, charges your bucket to increase mine speed. Increases the liquid storage capacity. Eh, not that useful. Alright, continue. So yeah, so because I have it the, set up the way I do, it uh, also has little save points. So uh, at certain points you can actually just kind of have a save and not have to worry about it type of thing. Um, which is what's happening right now. I get a little save every time I reach a station so then I don't have to worry about getting to that point B anymore and it'll exit to the lobby if I want it to. Why are there random humans? What are they doing? What are they? Who are you? Get, get, get out of here. Get out of here. Who are you? 
I don't know you. I need more stone. Why are these people just like walking around? I don't know who they are and what they do. I assume they probably mess with the game in some way, but I can't tell what they do and why they're here. Let's fill up this bucket as well. We need to fill up the bucket so that we can, uh, yeah, make sure it doesn't burn like that. Need more wood. I like the little sprint walk. I like how fast the character moves. It's kind of cool. stone again. Let's go get the pickaxe. Oh, they like take your stuff if it's sitting on the ground. That's so rude. And they throw it off the edge. That's so rude. They're like little mischief makers. They just like pick up your stuff and throw it off the edge. That's rude. Shoot, get out of here. Get away from my stuff. Get away. Go away from my train. Let's set his points. Get away from my stuff. Stop throwing it off the edge. away from my stuff. Get away from my stuff. Go. Go. Get away from my stuff. Leave it alone. Go. Elsewhere. Go. These dudes are annoying. I don't like them. At least you can just kind of stand by them and they run away like little pandies. Like, oh my gosh, I was caught. Oh, I gotta get out of here. It's so confusing. It doesn't tell you the bandits exist or what they do, you just kind of have to observe it and watch that they take your stuff and run away with it and then be like, oh, okay, well that's why. Get out of here. Get out. No, get out of here. Put in. I need the bucket again, I need the bucket again, I need the bucket again, it's all in the fire. It's all in the fire, not, a good, not in a good way. Is there a good way that things are ever on fire? <laughs> My brain is processing things swell, I swear. Oh, we're almost to the new. Oh, don't do it there, you idiot. This dude's like here, let me just start going in this opposite direction to the station that's right here. Yeah, 
true. I mean, I don't have anything against fire. I'm just saying that necessarily. Although, to be fair, I, I do actually light my marshmallows on fire, so I guess it is a good thing that my marshmallows are on fire, since then I get to have them for s'mores. And yes, I know not many people light their marshmallows entirely on fire, but it, it's a habit. <laughs> I just kind of light it on fire and let it exist. But we did it. Alright, now what are we doing? We need an upgrade or a new wagon. What do we have for new wagons? Charges your bucket to increase mining speed. Produces dynamite. Dynamite would be cool. Let's you pass to the other side. Stack size plus two, light radius plus six, capacity plus one. I like this little dynamite one. We're gonna make some explosives. Why not? We're gonna make some explosives. <laughs> we're, we're, gonna make, we're gonna make some explosives. It's fine. How do we make dynamite? We need some explosives. I need some explosives in my life. I need some explosives in my life. I need to know how these work. We need more wood. Hey, it's daytime. Let's add some points. Here, 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 except this tells him where he needs to go so that he doesn't just like build a train into nowhere's land. Where's our dynamite? Did our dynamite get constructed? Where is it? How does it work? How do I do dynamite? Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Oh my god. I need more. I need more dynamite in my life. This game has created a dynamite addiction. actually. Hmm. I mean, it seems like they cleared out for this part, so maybe I don't need to have them in every level. Or, like, maybe they're not a part of every level. But... I can't travel past them. Give me past. Give me past. Let me throw! Thank you. Oh, I can use dynamite. Dynamite. Um... It looks like they went away, so I don't need them to go away as badly as I did last round, but I am actually curious if they can get rid of things in the way, like the, the wanderers and these, like, cows and stuff. I don't know if these affect how my gameplay is. Hmm. Let's get some wood. The dynamite definitely helps though, because this is kind of tedious to mine everything one by one every time. Make sure he can get around to completely add these in. Now let's do some more dynamite. And then I just steal one off the dynamite pile that gets exploded, and boom, suddenly I can have some more stone and make some more dynamite. I didn't mean to hit the poor cow. I didn't want to hit the cow. I hope you can't, like, kill cows. I will be so sad if I accidentally kill a cow. Nixie, don't bite my foot.
This dude's pretty efficient at getting things done, though. I'll give him that much. This little dude that works for me here. Let's not blow up the cows. I don't want to blow up the cows. I just want to blow up the, the stone. The cows make such a funny noise. I need to make sure I finish off his points so he gets to the station. I have so many new games to try that I want to try them all in like one stream, but the only problem is that when I go to switch games, it stops my uh, stream entirely because it's going back to the main stream, main screen of the PlayStation. So it uh, stops the game. Uh, it stops the game and then it stops the broadcast and says nothing to broadcast for the game. And I'm like, but but I just want to go between games. I don't want to have to close everything out just to go between games, please. Let's add some more of this. Yeah, there probably is. I just don't really know enough about the mechanics of this, of uh, PlayStations, to really figure it out. Hmm. How do I any more? Wood, so I'll go here for some of it. I imagine these little like golden things in the mountain areas are actually something I can access that's like a bonus, like a coins or something, but I really just haven't bothered because I've been too busy focusing on the actual reels. Like those, I imagine, are actual little bonuses. They might actually just be like decorative. Nixie, please get your head out of my butt. Not literally, but like in my space. You're not part husky puppy dog. Um, she is a German Shepherd Wiesla Boston Terrier mix. She was a puppy from a dog that my dad got as a rescue. Um, the dog that he got as a rescue, he got for free, and she wasn't, with it. no one knew she was pregnant until after she started showing, and then she had puppies, so yeah. I'm upgrading the, there's no way I'm not upgrading this. Can I upgrade this? I wanna upgrade, why can't I upgrade? How do I have to upgrade the, oh, well, let me upgrade anything. Anyways, I'm gonna save it. But yeah, she's she's um about sixty pounds, roughly, and she is a year old. And she kind of looks like a German Shepherd for the most part. Like she's pretty tan, um, and she has like the black nose and the black. Um, hey, hi. Yes, I'm talking about you. In the black, like on the ends of her ears and, and some of her tail and stuff. She just kind of looks like a different type of fur type of a uh, German Shepherd, but she's mouthy as you can hear in the background. So she's kind of just sitting in my face and making noise. Come here, little face. What are you doing? What are you doing? She was born exactly on Christmas. So she is a little over a year old now. Um. Hi. Would you stop being hyper, please, for one second in your life? Thank you. I'm trying to give you love when you're being hyper and bashing around. Oh. You good girl. You good girl. You good girl. You're all right. What time is it? It's 3.30. And, uh, oh, he did answer me. I was going to say, he still hasn't answered me as to whether or not I can come over. puppy dog just chugging water. So yeah, so there's like a bunch of different ways I can play. I can play online as well. I want to see what the sandbox version is. 
because the sandbox version sounds like I get to just kind of play with it a little more and do some things instead of having to focus so heavily on the train moving. Oh, cool. Your standard uh, increases liquid storage, stores raw, converts raw materials to pieces. Oh, cool. So I just get to like make a train however I want, basically, of the ones I've already gotten. And I can add more than one of things, which is nice. I can't have more than five wagons. Hmm. Oh, I could have more than one dynamite station. Oh my god, I love this. Aha. I got more than one dynamite station. Heck yeah. We're gonna make explosives like hell. Okay, let's do add point, add point, add point, accept, and let's make him derails. And where is my pickup? Well, it looks like I already have some dynamite ready at the beginning, which is nice. And some wood and stone. I love the dynamite so much. It's so fun. It's actually really helpful, because look at how far he got so fast. Let's do this. this. Yes, puppy dog, I hear you. I know. Can you creep her out or should I? Sleepy head. Can you bring her out or should I? Because she's wanting to go out at this point. The original was talking for fun, now she's wanting to go out. Oh shoot, shoot, where's the bucket, where's the bucket? I need the bucket. Let's get some dynamite over here for the stone. I like the free the sandbox mode. It's a little more chill and a little less freaking the hell out because I can't do things in time. We made it to the checkpoint. There's one thing I can add though because I haven't gotten enough things in the regular game. Yeah, there's not much I can do with it because it's kind of already... There's not much that I have in the new game, in the, in the regular game, that I've unlocked. So I can't use sandbox that much. And there's online, and then there's tutorial, and then there's this cute little walk around. Can I push him off? I want to push him off. I'm impulsive. Push him off, push him off, push him off. No, I can't push him off. Sad. I like this cute little, like, snow biome here. Start game progress, settings, high score, replay. Hmm. Yeah, it just reminds me of Crossy Roads a lot with how it's set up. Like, I love the cute little animations to it in the setup. I 
I do still have a lot to do in Minecraft, even though I have so many new games to try now. So maybe I'll like have to split up the time where I do one or two streams of um, a new game a week, and then one or two streams of Minecraft a week. Or I could even do a different uh, game per stream day. So like Monday be one game, Wednesday be uh, a different game, and Friday be a diff uh, different game, and then just repeat that type of thing. So like Mondays I could play like this or something simple, uh, Wednesday or Minecraft or something, and then Wednesdays I could play something simple or this or Minecraft or something, and then Fridays I could play a different game type of thing. I'm definitely gonna be playing Among Us like heck once I get Among Us set up. I thought the ow, honey, you gotta relax. I know you're so excited. Ow, why won't you play tug with dad? You play tug with me and it hurts because you pull so hard. You're too strong for me, bugger butt. You are. Hello. Hello. Are you a happy puppy dog? Yeah. Sorry for the pause. She's My pup is in my face, so I'm giving her a little bit of attention. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Make you. What? Are you gonna. Ow! You are too strong. You're too strong. Holy heck. Ow. You're like pulling my arm out of socket. <laughs> Help. Tug with dad. Thank you. Mm. Um. Let's see replay as well. And you can play online with other people, which would be kind of weird, because you'd have to, like, try to communicate. And I don't know if there's a mic for this game to connect it to the other. What's the replay, though, if I still am on a checkpoint? Oh, it replays the ones that are just, um... It replays the ones that are just the, uh... Failed ones that I did the, um... And this one that I failed on a couple times, not the one with checkpoints that I saved. Oh, you could do verses with multiple players, that's so cool. Uh -huh. like two different teams. Goodness, I'm so tired. How do I get back to my loaded game? Oh, I choose the save game. This one. Oh. It already has checkpoints enabled. Huh. That's so cool. I am extremely tired though, and I do have to get some stuff ready for if I'm able to leave in a little while. Um, so I will hopefully be able to stream a little maybe this weekend, um, depending on what I have to do tomorrow, I might be able to stream some, and if not, I will be back on Monday. I want to play with Minecraft again, so I'm probably going to play Minecraft, but we have plenty of games now to try out, which will be fun to add on to the stream and get some more different stuff going instead of just endless Minecraft since the whole stream has been, the whole Twitch channel has been literally just like 60 episodes of Minecraft. <laughs> um, so yeah, so hopefully I'll get to try some new games and get back onto other games and things like that. Um, for now, that's all for today. I don't know what I'll do next time. Um, hopefully we'll try some different games that are a little more interesting to keep up with. I do like this one though. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Be sure to be safe, take care of yourselves, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye!